good morning all of you so last class we had discussed about the chapter and uh, it was a very short chapter and it was a very interesting story right all of you uh, so uh, in this unit 1 uh, if you are going uh, if you are uh, if you are checking the unit wise then you can see that almost three topics were there and all the three topics have been covered first we discussed about the ice cream man first was a poem the ice cream man second one was uh, about uh, our famous dish avial correct wonderful waste uh, that was the second lesson and third lesson was again about a special kind of dish it's called as the bamboo curry correct so bamboo curry we discussed about this lesson in the previous class uh, am i right so uh, bamboo curry was a very interesting topic and if all of you remember the story that was a very simple story and i think all of you read the chapter clearly correct as such there were no much difficult words in a, in this chapter uh, it was a very simple chapter and an enjoyable and a readable story after that during the online session hmm, just we had discussed about how to write a picture story i had discussed uh, with you about writing the picture story by providing two picture stories to you if you remember it the first picture was about the greedy dog they had shown three pictures and from that pictures using that pictures we had uh, tried to find out how to write a picture story how to write a story by from the picture that has been provided to us okay then we discuss about the lion and the cow unity is strength was the name of the uh, that another picture story which we had read that right? and in that that story we were able to write in two ways huh? looking at the picture three pictures were there first picture there were four cows so they were standing in a group and the uh, in the second picture we could see that the lion is coming and in the third picture we could see that lion is killing the cow and eating it simple way we can uh, say like that but if you want to make a story then another story you can make is uh, that uh, three uh, four cows were standing together so uh, they fought with each other they are having a good fight and all of them are going separately then a lion is coming it is like killing one of the cows so if they were united the lion would not have come and kill the cow so in this two ways we can write the story huh? no need to get confused whichever way is easy for you you can do it correct then after that we had discussed about another story picture story we had discussed correct i had provided you six pictures six pictures were in a group and i think we all had discussed the story of the balloon and we had we i think you have written it all of you might have written it in your notebooks and you might have completed your works correct is it clear okay so today we are going to just discuss about the rest part of the lesson that is we are going to discuss the grammar part and other question and answers that are available in the textbook so for those who are not having textbook i will be sending uh, this by uh, whatsapp okay i will either send in pdf format or i will send the photo of the textbook so please watch out for these photos and the on, uh, and the uh, video of the class and then attend the online session so just let us go through our textbook so i think all of you most of you have your textbook for those who do not have the textbook i will be showing you the textbook okay so you can see it clearly so let's write okay complete the sentences meaningfully what you have to do you have to complete the sentences 
meaningfully correct the bridegroom left with the door of his in-laws house because it was made of yes you can see the answer bamboo and there was no bamboo in his village correct why did the bridegroom leave the house of the in-laws house because the house was made of bamboo and no bamboo was there in his village okay the bridegroom was unable to have bamboo curry in the end because why because it was too hard to be eaten because it was too hard to be eaten now we have to go for a word hand okay now fill in the blanks with words from the story you have to fill in the blanks with the words from the story the bridegroom went to visit his whom did the bridegroom go to visit yes it's the mother in law so the bridegroom went to vis visit his mother in law the mother in law pointed dash the bamboo door pointed dash the mother in law pointed what may be the answer can you guess yes it's at okay the mother in law pointed at the bamboo door okay next he stayed the night with his in laws okay he carried the bamboo door back with him the curry was made from bamboo shoots the curry was made from bamboo shoots correct okay so this was what uh, the exercise okay that we had discussed correct and uh, uh, and uh, further what we have to discuss we how we will just learn how to say the words aloud how to say these words aloud okay what is this impatient what is this impatient how do you say this impatient okay impatient this is delicious how do you read this delicious we don't read this delicious or like that we read this delicious what do we read it delicious okay boiled what do you read this boiled then we read this chopped what do we read this chopped we read this bamboo what do we read this bamboo we read this began what do we read this began now there is a small work for you okay you have to find out the answer for this what is this the mother in law pointed dash the bamboo door okay this is one single dash no double dash is there you just find out this answer for the online class and you tell me okay the mother in law pointed dash the bamboo door okay so how do you read this impatient delicious boiled chopped how do you read this chopped bamboo began can you see began began okay so these are the way how to pronounce these words okay now we are going to discuss some extra part of this chapter ha huh? in this chapter right in this chapter we had come across some words correct we had come across some words like mother in law correct now if you think suddenly in your mind what question will come if mother in law is the female word then what will be the male word what will be the male word for that okay so such words huh, which express yeah, whether it's a female or a male we call them as gender what do we call them gender okay gender what do we call them gender 
सो यूशली देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ जेंडर्स यूशली हाउ मेनी टाइप्स वी कंसिडर टू टाइप्स ऑफ जेंडर मैस्क्यूलाइन जेंडर वॉट यू रीड दिस मैस्क्यूलाइन एम ए एस सी यू एल आई एम ई वॉट इज दिस मैस्क्यूलाइन जेंडर एंड फेमिनाइन जेंडर वॉट यू रीड दिस फेमिनाइन ओके मैस्क्यूलाइन मीन्स usually it is related to muscles or muscular so what it is a male okay male or in our uh, lower classes okay we had studied related to this a uh, prince princess like that questions were there correct boy girl was the gender which we were using correct so a male female okay so masculine means male you can say Male and feminine means what? Female. Okay. Feminine means female gender. Masculine means what gender? Male gender. We are writing male. Okay. And feminine means what gender? We are discussing female. Okay. Gender means what? It expresses about the uh, uh, about the person whether uh, whether the person is a male or a female. Okay. Masculine means male feminine means female okay now uh, if i write the feminine fe feminine gender okay mother in law if i write the feminine gender mother in law can you think about the masculine gender what it will be what will be the masculine gender be it will be of course father in law what is it father in law okay so masculine gender is father in law feminine gender is mother in law okay second we came across the word bride groom correct we came across the masculine word bride groom what does the bride groom do in the story he visits the father in law's house correct the story begins over there so if the masculine gender is bride groom what will be the feminine gender it will be bride what is it bride okay so we have english movies uh, i had heard one movie the bride and the bride groom correct i am not talking about pride and prejudice i am talking about bride and bride groom like that one movie was there correct so feminine gender is bride huh? and masculine gender is bride groom okay now let us see if she visited okay she visited huh? so if the feminine gender is she what will be the masculine gender Yes, you are correct. It is of course it is he. Correct. Next, he. How is the feminine gender? If the feminine gender is her, then, huh? This is her book. This is her pen. This is her pencil. Correct. So if it's a boy, then what do you say? Her means a girl. You are speaking about a girl. Okay. This is her book. This is her pen. This is her pencil. Okay. Now, if it's a me, what do you see? If it's a boy, who is taking that pen? Who is taking that pen? It is his book. What do you say? It is his book. It is his pen. It is his pencil. We are making this very common mistake in the class. Okay. A girl is taking a book, and we are saying, "Madam." he is taking my book is it correct no we should remember always that he is used for a boy she is used for a girl okay his is used for a boy her is used for a girl so the next time a boy is taking your book you have to say ah this our book it is the book is his okay if it, if it belongs to a girl the book is her okay 
or this book belongs to her okay so like that you can connect the masculine and the feminine gender when we are speaking children we should remember such kind of very simple things okay his her he she okay don't say she for a uh, boy and he for a girl okay many times we are doing that mistake hmm? so be careful about that okay now if the masculine gender is husband then what will be the feminine gender feminine gender will be wife what is it wife okay masculine gender is husband feminine gender is wife so shall we revise this one more time masculine means male feminine means female okay father in law is the masculine mother in law is the feminine gender bridegroom is the masculine gender bride is the feminine gender he is the masculine gender she is the feminine gender he is is the masculine gender her is the feminine gender husband is the masculine gender wife is the feminine gender so will you read this children okay and uh, after this class okay i will send you uh, this huh? uh, presently you have to not write this anywhere in your notebook after your class i will send you this okay at that time you learn this and you should be able to write the masculine and the feminine gender alternatively okay however i give you suppose if i give you only mother in law here then you should be able to write father in law if i give you he then you should be able to write she okay so this is the way how we write masculine and feminine gender i think most of you can understand my dear children if you are having any problem then you can contact me directly or you can send me a voice message if i am not able to attend your call huh, then you can send me voice message uh, through your whatsapp related to that okay now we are going to uh, discuss about some opposites what we are going to discuss we will be discussing about some opposites okay so i think most of you understand this right understood this okay so most of you understood this any doubts you can contact me so after discussing about gender we will discuss about some opposites okay which we are always coming across in this chapter what we are going to discuss we are discussing about some opposites okay now you when i am telling you you try to find out the opposites and tell me you are going to find them so maybe most of you i think can write the opposites alone so without any teacher help so night what do you think will be the opposite yes very good it will be day okay this is a very simple one correct night opposite will be day okay second one tasteless what may be the opposite tasteless what may be the opposite very tasty food i cook tasteless food and my mother cooks tasty food correct ah. i cook tasteless food my mother cooks tasty food so the opposite of tasteless is tasty okay so the third one okay what is it evening so evening opposite will be morning okay what is the opposite morning okay then so you can see in, in some advertisement uh, they are saying my skin is very soft like a baby correct some advertisement they are saying so soft opposite hard okay so what they will say tomorrow onwards my skin is very hard correct no <laughs> my skin is very soft only they will say okay but actually the opposite of soft is hard that's why i have told you for remembering the opposite okay now fifth one old what is the opposite of old i am a old man okay i am a old woman so what is the opposite of this old young okay what is it Young. 
the bride from in the story was very young correct he was not old his mother in law was old correct so he was young he okay, young and full of energy correct so sixth one is this down only five are So, night opposite will be day. Huh? Tasteless opposite is tasty. Okay? Evening opposite is morning. Okay? Soft opposite is hard. And cold opposite is young. Okay? So, these are the five opposites which we have discussed today. Huh? Now, we came across in the last part of our chapter. Hmm? We came across that uh, the... Uh, people, all the people, all the in-laws in the house, they are laughing at the bridegroom. Correct? Why they are laughing at the bridegroom? Because he has taken the bamboo door and they are not able to make the bamboo curry. Okay? So, the mother-in-law says that she had made the curry from the bamboo shoot. Okay? So, like that for some plants, we are able to eat only some parts. Okay? So, we will discuss about... Some plant parts which we eat. Okay. So here on the board, I will write, we have to name the part of the plant we eat. What we have to do? We have to name the part of the plant that we eat. Okay. So, bamboo. Which part of the bamboo do you eat? Yes, it's the shoot. All of you know. It's the shoot. Correct? Now, second one. You think ginger. There are many gingers in your house. Correct? Yes, we use ginger in most of our curry. So, ginger. Which part of the ginger do we eat? We eat the stem. What do we eat? Stem. Okay. What do you see under? Uh, we call it as the uh, bulb. Okay. Actually, it's the uh, kind of bulb. Okay. But it's the extension of the stem. That's why we say stem. Okay. We don't say the root or uh, we don't say the bulb. Okay. What form? Ginger form we say. C-O-R-M form. So, actually, it's the outgrowth of the stem. Or it's the part of the stem. That form is the part of the stem. And that's why we call it as the stem. Okay? Stem. Huh? Now, third one. Sugar cane. Sugar cane, what do we eat? We eat the stem. Correct? What do we eat? We eat the stem. Stem is that part of the sugar cane. You can see the sugar cane, right? Very tasty. Okay. It is very good for uh, uh, some hepatitis and like the diseases. At that time if you are having then the doctors will recommend you to eat this sugar cane. Huh? So this sugar cane, the stem part, in this part you are eating. Correct? So this is the stem part of the sugar cane. Okay. Fourth one. Carrot. Okay. You will find this out at 10. Huh? Carrot, you are going to find it out at 10. Okay. Fifth one. Brinjal. In the online class, your answer should be ready. Okay. I will ask this to someone. Huh? Brinjal. Which part do you eat of the brinjal? Yes. We eat the fruit. Correct? The seeds are enclosed inside the fruit and that's why we eat the bell shaped fruit. Correct? Then, cauliflower. What do we eat in the cauliflower? We eat the flower. The flower. That's why what do we eat? We eat the flower. Okay? And then seventh one, mint. Mint means what? Now I will tell you, mint means leaves. Mint we eat the leaves. Okay, we eat the leaves of the mint. You will tell 
Similarly, what do you call for meat? Okay, in Malayalam and Hindi, huh? what do you call for meat? Okay, that is what you have. So, in this part, you are going to, I given you three words. Okay, one word, you have to find one till in the blanks from the textbook. I told you to correct it and find out. Okay, second one, I told you to find out the part of the plant that we need of carrot. Okay, third one, the uh, Hindi word for meat. Okay. And these are the three works which I have given. Huh? Before the class, okay, before starting the online class, you should be ready with this, okay. Other all, in the class, we are going to discuss about three question answers from this chapter. What we will discuss? Three question answers from this chapter, okay. Let me inform you about the questions. The questions are very simple. Written work will be given to you after the class. Okay. So, question number one. What did the bride use mother-in-law cook for him? What did the bridegroom's mother-in-law cook for him? So I think you know the answer. The name of our lesson. Correct? Second one. What did the bridegroom carry with him? What did the bridegroom carry with him? Yes, you know the 